Hey, how's it going? Time to cash in. It's another day, and I'm getting ready to take in a load of scrap. Because, unfortunately, parts don't grow on trees. <laughs> so, here's what I got. I'm taking a load of bats and cats. I got these ones from out back, and I just came up here to grab the last one. Right over here, at my charging station. Well, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> got one more to go. Right here. That's one thing about the new truck, is that battery's pretty good. So, I'm keeping it, and get rid of my oldest, not so good battery. That sucker only comes up to about 12.3 volts, so it can go on to the scrapyard. Okay, all set. I'll let you know what I get here in a minute. Okay, the results are in. And they are disappointing. Now, I've scrapped on and off. I mean, I don't do it a lot, but I've scrapped on and off over the years. But lately, it feels like every scrapyard wants to haggle over the prices. I mean, it's, it's like I'm going to a pawn shop or something. I mean, it's just like, they should be set, or set rate, and that's what they give you. I mean, and it you know, changes place to place, of course. This place was supposed to be pretty good, according to a friend of mine, and this is what I got. I'm not positive that those are good rates. I probably should have looked into it a little more before I left, but you know, I just wanted to go and get some quick cash. I didn't need a lot. This is more than enough. I mean, but also what sucks too is new local law or something, they got to mail it to me. So. I don't got to check today, I don't got cash today, I got to wait two or three business days to get a check in the mail. <laughs> Come on. So, you definitely can't last minute scrap anything. I mean, I, I got, what, where is it, Thirty nine ninety six for the batteries, seven batteries, it's a little lower than I expected, I mean, last time I, I mean, but I'll have to look at the radar line when I get home. So. We'll see. Anyways, also while I'm here, I decided to check out a local hotspot. Let's see what kind of activity has been going on. Don't know how well you're going to hear me outside because the wind's up. Looks like it's been popular this year. Can't wait to get my car done. Okay, I'm back from my scrap trip. And I forgot to mention one thing. This, this is kind of what I mean about haggling. I mean, I just mentioned I thought that was kind of low for the cats. And he immediately went up five bucks each. So, I mean, it was like no ha hassle. Just, oh, I think it's kind of low. Okay, five more bucks. So, I mean, it's just, it's just, I mean, the last place I went to, they forgot one of the big things. And I was like, they add up my money and it goes, here's your money. And I'm like, uh, you forgot to add up the wheel scrap. And I mean, it was like a hundred and some dollars. So, I mean, it's just, you know, this place, they're going to try and not get you here. And this place, they're going to try and get you that way. And it's just, I, I'm almost not even going to bother with the scrap anymore. Still, anyways. I thought this also would be a good place to include some clips, some clips I made the other day, so check that out. Supposedly three people are coming to get this thing today. Eh, we'll see. I've had more than a few message me with interest and say they want to come get it the next day and never hear back from them. Guess that's just how marketplace is these days. So I went ahead and got some chains to lift it up with the picker if they show. And hopefully I do, and I can get some of my money back. Tranny's gone. You're next. Now, after I scrap the truck, with the transmission being sold, I plan to try and sell the wheels and tires, because I kind of need them to scrap it. Plus the Vortec heads, a few other bits here and there. I pretty much broke even on this deal. It's not a total loss. 
got to learn some stuff. And you got to keep moving forward and stay positive. It's always nice when you can get some of your poor investment back. <laughs> I mean, it would have been nicer if I wouldn't have bought a truck with a junk engine, but, you know, oh well, them's the brakes. This is what I got, and this is what I'm going to work with. Now, I still got to scrap the truck and sell the wheels and stuff, but it might take a little longer than I planned because there's a little bit of an issue, issue with the dolly I was going to borrow, so, I mean, as long as I get it out of here by fall, I'll be happy. And that's also the prime time to sell the wheels and tires because right about winter time, people start looking for tires because they're like, oh crap, my tires are bald and it's snowing. <laughs> so, it'll work out hopefully. Thanks for watching. Keep it real.